It's part of the Ring of Fire, a cauldron stretching from the Americas to Southeast Asia, roiling with volcanoes and earthquakes. My guess is that earthquakes are really so scary because you don't have any warning. It's the only thing besides a nuclear war that can really... One second you're living in a big beautiful city and ten seconds later it's flat. smashing into each other, you couldn't go anywhere, I managed to get out and didn't even look behind me, just ran. Can, like when you think about it, these, these bricks aren't light, and when they're falling from like five metres in the air, you'd expect them to break some bones, but they didn't. To actually see the top of the cathedral come down was, I've never seen anything like it in my life, to actually see it topple in front of the cathedral, to see the dust and have people running out underneath that dust is just... There's just no words, to be quite honest. It was absolutely awful. We did nothing for washing or um, toiletry or um, brushing our teeth, nothing at all. <laughs> this is uh, this is a godsend, liquid gold, this. We're sort of not at the edge of the building. If we'd, I think if we'd been at the edge of the building rather than about two metres in, we would have been squashed. We're starting to see empty buildings all the way down through town. They've got about 95% of water in Christchurch, and I think they've got about 98 per cent power. You know, there's so, so much going on. You know, we see all the devastation, but I wish they would so show some stuff that is still standing. the centre, people are facing their own mountains to climb, in some cases almost literally, thanks to liquefaction. The quake causes the soil and silt underneath the ground to act like a liquid which bubbles up above the surface. Sure, all that area in Gellington, uh, all that area, it's got this 
liquid fusion come up underneath the houses. 